Hi, this is Shira Rubinoff, and today I'm here with Neil Gad, Chief Product and Technology Officer at Real VNC. Neil, pleasure to be with you here today. Likewise, thank you for having me. Pleasure. So Neil, cybersecurity touches technology in many ways, some that we don't typically think about. And Neil, I'm happy to have this conversation with you today as Real VNC is a company that develops and provides remote access software. And utilizing remote access software is something many of us, if not all of us in the industry use. Quick, easy access that is secure, something that we count on and need to do in our daily jobs and functionalities in everyday life. Remote access needs to have end-to-end -end encryption, robust access controls, certification are just some of the few features that are a must-have. So Neil, can you share with us a little bit about the history of the company, how it came to be, where it is today, and what are the main points in the industry today that they are solving? Sure. Um, so yeah, Real VNC has been around for over 20 years. Uh, it invented remote access. So I'm really privileged to be standing on the shoulders of some great folks that created this amazing product. If you ask anyone in the tech space, they will have heard of and have, will have used Real VNC at some point. So I have a really huge responsibility to build further on that legacy that our founders created. The product uh, has like a billion installs globally. We do hundreds of millions of connections between devices every year. We have patents spanning seven countries and all kinds of awards. So the company has a really, really great legacy in remote access. Wonderful. And uh, Neil, do you believe also this is something that people take for granted? You know, we have to log in from, from remote areas. We obviously don't really think about all the things that need to be encompassed into the technology that we're utilizing in order to provide us security. Yeah, it, it's really, really important that the use of our product becomes subconsciously ingrained in how people do their jobs. So the, the use cases that we enable and the value we create for our customers is all about making it really natural to connect between devices in a, in a world where the interconnectivity between different kinds of devices globally is increasing, getting more and more complex. What we do and what we're able to provide is uh, a way through that at scale, different kinds of environments. So we have installations on submarines in space, in classrooms full of students, MRI scanners in hospitals, solar farms. So we enable our customers to connect to all these different kinds of environments uh, and they make it as natural as if they're sitting in front of the computer. So that, that's the value that we're able to provide and we try and remove any friction that we have in our customers being able to do that. Well, I think it's important that we in the industry actually take a step back and really understand the needs and the importance of this space in the security world. And another question for you, like how has security changed in the last number of years and the company's commitment to security around advancements and needs of security today within the product? Because as you were speaking about, there's advancements of technology at warp speed, whether it being in healthcare, in, in any area that we actually touch upon, we need to utilize right. this technology. Right, yeah. So in, in a world where the complexity is ever increasing, number of devices is increasing, uh, the, the threat vectors are evolving all the time. Since we started this conversation, there are new ways that uh, these companies that are our customers could be attacked. Uh, and so we have uh, security as our number one priority. It is a non-negotiable for our customers. We have 24-7 security operations center that protects us. We don't release any product unless it goes through a huge security QA process to make sure that um, we, we kick the hell out of it and make sure that uh, we close off potential attack vectors. Uh, and this evolves all the time. So we have to make sure that, uh, that our, our product is anticipating new attack vectors. We have a really, really amazing team that uh, look at what's coming. They, they study all kinds of hacking behavior and uh, cybersecurity threat uh, behaviors that are out there. And we build this into the core of our code, like. From, from the ground up to make sure that we can tell our customers, hey, we, we are the most secure way that you can connect to remote devices. So that's, that's why they trust us to be in nuclear reactor control rooms, for example, and in all these kind of scenarios that I described. I love that. And I also love the way that you touched upon technologies evolving and your companies anticipating, you know, staying ahead of the game, not waiting for it to happen and trying to figure out what to do next. 
And I talk pretty often about there's no one size fits all when it comes to security or technology for organizations. And we spoke about earlier why it's important to focus on key verticals within an industry and not have a one size fits all. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, exactly. So if you think about the different kinds of device that I mentioned, where you have all these different use cases in industrial settings, in healthcare settings, they have different operating systems, complex network topologies, uh, different uh, ways in which the users are interacting with them. Uh, and so it's impossible to try and believe that a one size fits all product can solve all of the customer pain that exists in those scenarios. So um, I love nothing more than speaking directly with our customers, hearing about their pain and hearing about how we add value to them. Um, and by having this connection with the customer, um, so I, th our product is called Connect. So I, I take this really, really to heart and I take this like beyond the literal sense to like a personal connection sense. Uh, and I try and make sure that our design philosophy is built around how we enable our customers to connect with the product. Um, and that's going to be different in a factory compared to in a healthcare setting compared to in a solar farm. So we, we have to make sure that our product is adaptable enough and anticipates, as you say, the, the threat vectors that happen and the use cases that happen in these different environments. So um, we, we, we'd like to think that we have evolved to operate in a way beyond just a vanilla IT use case. Uh, and you have a huge, huge proliferation of operational technology devices. The complexity is exponential, but you have pressure on IT budgets and the way the teams are organized. You also have convergence between IT and OT. And we see this increasingly amongst our customers where their organizations are converging and their budgets converging. And, converging. and you have a, a CISO that looks after IT environments and OT environments. And so we have to be able to solve for a world where the, these things are combined and we have to have security protocols and levels of security that allow our customers to be assured we can protect them in this new, new world that we have. Well, you're also highlighting that there's a lot of talk around the convergence of IT and OT across many different systems and organizations. And of course, the adaptability and flexibility of a solution is key to successful solutions. So it's great that you highlighted that. And I would love to touch upon, as you were mentioning, Connect. And there's a new iteration, I believe, of a latest upgrade, Connect V8. And I'd like to hear That's a little right. bit about it and why it's important for the industry today. And the thing that we're all really worried about, and we're all very careful in terms of our cyber hygiene within organizations, within, externally, how would this provide even more security to its users and to the industry as a whole? Uh, yeah, we're really pleased to um, announce that we're launching our new version 8 product. Um, we think it's going to move, move us forward. It's a game-changing product. For the first time, we have a combined application that uh, can be deployed on different kinds of devices for inbound and outbound connections. Uh, and at the core of it, that uh, helps us guarantee and improve the security. Uh, the, the customer is completely in control of how the product is used from a group policy perspective. Uh, there are different kinds of use cases, actually, that with the origination of this product and this iteration, uh, where customers, particularly in OT environments, wanted to be able to have different kinds of user access their technology at different times and under different conditions. Mm -hmm. So we actually designed the product so that uh, there is this kind of approach where you can have different users that kind of have one-time access, for example, into your tech, tech environment. Um, and we have we pride ourselves on having the best version of this kind of feature in the industry. Um, so I'm already pleased to say that if this feature and this way of using the product is getting really good uptake. Uh, so that's just one example. We also have um, a whole new UI user interface. I mentioned the connection that we like to have with the customer and that we want them to have with the product. So we've completely designed the whole user journey from scratch. Uh, trying to make it easier to use, remove friction in how the, the customers use it. Um, and we'll continue to iterate this over time. Um, and we've already got some great feedback and some great uptake of it. And um, it's, uh, touch wood, proving really successful so far. Well, that's great. And certainly as we're advancing in technology, but just the way the world is today, we're moving at warp speed, really understanding the needs of clients, organizations from within the organization, certainly when they're interfacing within important data, important information, we have to be completely secure. 
when we are utilizing remote access. So Neil, thank you for that today. And I always like to ask my guests to give a little bit of a cybersecurity pointer, helpful hint to the audience, whether it being in your space and any part of, part of cybersecurity that you would like. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, a, a big thing is made at the moment about use of AI, the evolution of AI, large language models, chat GPT. Um, and I wanted to touch upon the, what is, I think, the double-edged sword in how we use this going forward. So um, I, I really believe it can be a game changer for us. We have a number of uh, ways in which our customers are trying to leverage AI, um, but it provides a different threat vector, a different way in which actually CISOs and people in my role have to think differently about how they approach security. Um, for example, at Real VNC, we, we make sure that we use AI very, very carefully in terms of the security of our product. So uh, we take an extremely cautious approach to using AI in our software development. Um, because we need to make sure that actually our really, really highly skilled engineers are the ones in charge. But that said, we know that our customers actually are trying to find new ways in which to use AI. So there's this like whole other frontier that is the next thing that we're trying to turn our attention to and make sure that we can operate in a world that's ever evolving faster than we ever thought um, possible. Well, Neil, thank you for joining me here today. And I'm sure our audience really appreciated your valuable insight and knowledge in the space. And I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.